want to do it again. It just came to me. I thought it was cute. Okay. Order. Order in the court. Order in the curls. What's good, everybody? We are back today with your main girl, Mel, for a very special, important video. I recently came to this conclusion that we needed to do an updated video talking about the best order to apply your products. Because you might be using the right products, you might just not know how you should be applying them. And there are so many products out there. I wanted to break down some of my best recommendations. Specifically, in this video, we're gonna talk about ones that are at Sephora because if you hadn't heard, right now is the Sephora sale and I've heard so many um, requests for my Sephora Rex. So I'm gonna talk a lot about Sephora products today, but we can also do this video if you would like another version of, you know, we can definitely do a drugstore version, which I'm sure I can already hear it now. That's what you're gonna want. But for now, I've got a lot of products sitting in front of me and we're gonna break down the product categories. Specifically, we're gonna talk about the order in which we apply, which if you know, if you've been around for some time, that is prep, style, finish. We prep, then we style, then we finish. I'm gonna break down what all of that means today. In case you are new to May, I am Mel. I am a professional hairstylist. So I, you know, on this channel, do a lot of hair on myself, but I also have experience working with all textures and I definitely wanna give you my recommendations of what might work for you, depending on what your hair type is throughout this video. So all hairs are welcome here. And, um, I'm really excited to be celebrating our sixth year anniversary on YouTube today. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna try not to cry, but I saw a lot of your comments already in the live chat. Say hello if you are with me and also stay tuned and stay active in the live chat. If you can't comment in the live chat, it's because you're not subscribed and you should probably subscribe because we are going to be doing giveaways throughout this live stream. So stay tuned. And if you are catching the replay of this live stream, well, there's gonna be more giveaways in tomorrow's video as well, because we're still posting a video tomorrow. You're getting extra content. Okay, now that I have gone through my intro spiel, shall we get styling? No, no, we shouldn't get styling because we need to get prepping, okay? Let's go by category. As I mentioned, we begin with the prep. Prep is how you prepare your hair for styling, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> so this starts not just with your, you know, your the first product that you're applying, which you might think to be a leave-in conditioner or a heat protectant, I hope, I hope. But it can also be your shampoo and conditioner. So I'm gonna run through some shampoo and conditioner recs that I have. There's a lot of products here, and if one that I mentioned sounds like something that you like, I'm gonna have all the links to these products in the description box below that you'll be able to see once the live stream is done. So you can stay tuned to do that. I also have a blog post by Sephora Rex, but I wanna talk through, like really talk through them here today and hopefully answer some of the questions that you might have. So let's start, let's begin with the most, one of the most important products that you must have in your routine because the prep sets you up for the styling it sets you up for finishing. If you don't prep properly, you set yourself up for failure. So shampoo and conditioner is super, super important. And I've got a couple bundles. There's a couple like pairs of shampoo and conditioners that I like. And I think of all of the product options at Sephora, there's one that really, really stands out to mind that I think is the most concentrated, the best bang for your buck, also the most versatile for just about everybody as well as uh, smells delicious. Like I am a, I'm a scent girly, okay? I like my hair to smell delicious while curly. Sometimes, have you ever had your hair just kind of smell, you know like curly hair, because we have so much products in it and like a lot of oils, sometimes it absorbs the scents in the air and then it, it smells like whatever you're cooking for dinner or the outside. Anyways, I like my hair to smell pretty. And one of my favorite smelling products are from Olaplex. And I've been using Olaplex since their initiation in 2016. No, they've been around 
before that. I think like 2013-ish. I've been using them since 2016 in salon. And these are some of the most iconic shampoos and conditioners. This one specifically is their 4C clarifying shampoo. And if you're not using a clarifying shampoo in your routine, I'm just gonna let you know now that it's probably explaining why you have so many hair issues. If you're struggling with frizz, if you're struggling with dullness, if you're struggling to get your hair to hold well, right? You can't get that gel cast on your hair. You're not getting longevity out of your style. It's weighed down. What else can I say? I could say the list goes on and on and on. And honestly, you need to use a clarifying shampoo in your routine. So this is one of my absolute favorites. I think it's amazing. It breaks down all types of buildup on our hair, including mineral buildup. Um, so this is one of my faves. Again, smells delicious. Super, super thick. If you're not just reaching for this clarifying shampoo, I just want to also mention the regular, this is the Olaplex 4 shampoo. I mean, their 4P, which is their purple shampoo, is also one of the most pigmented purple shampoos that I have used. I should have mentioned that as well. I don't really have too much color care, but I, but I also do with the clarifying shampoo. One moment. I'm really trying to stay organized. I will get, let you know now that I am someone that has ADHD and I have a lot of thoughts to share with ye. And so um, we're, we're trying to stay on track here, okay? Anyways, so back to what I was saying. Olaplex 4 shampoo is also very good. I don't know if it's necessarily for everyone. Because the Olaplex is specifically, for, like it's best for damaged hair. If you don't have damaged hair, you don't really need to use it. But as someone with color treated curly hair, I'm obsessed with this shampoo. And again, a little bit goes a long way. These formulas, I think for what it is, like Olaplex, a lot of people think Olaplex is expensive, but compared to other shampoos and conditioners, so reasonably priced, go the longest way. They're some of my favorites, including the conditioner, which I'm sorry, I apologize, they're upside down. These were taken from out of my shower. And if you know, you know, this conditioner is so thick and the bottles are, the bottles are a bit of a miss. But anyways, I keep this upside down so it's ready to squeeze in the shower. And those are definitely some of my, my biggest wrecks. Again, if you have color treated and damaged hair, I think Olaplex, you're gonna mention, you're gonna hear me mention a few Olaplex products throughout the routine. I do like starting with all, uh, I mean, I just really like these products, but also if you're trying to get the most hair repair, leave-in products are gonna do better. But we're gonna get there, okay? We're still talking about shampoos and conditioners. I'm trying to rapid fire, okay? Well, give me some feedback as I'm talking here. Um, am I, <laughs> oh, you think my hairstyle is cute? Yes, this is a bad hair day, so. Thank you so much for saying that. Um, let me know if you have uh, quick questions or if I'm talking too much. I sh really should just shut up. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on. Carry on. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink, actually. What's on tap, everybody? I'm drinking like a lemon ginger water cocktail. It's, it's a mocktail, actually. An adrenal cocktail, if you will. Um, because I need the energy. So now in front of me, I'm carrying this. I'm carrying. This is another one of my children. This is one of my shampoos that I really, really love. Again, for colored care. If you've got red hair, okay, or you have hair color that tends to fade really fast, but you need a clarifying shampoo, I think this is my favorite clarifying shampoo for color treated hair because I, I think it doesn't wash the color out as fast. And this is called the Color Wow Color Security Shampoo, 100% clean, residue free. And that is the truth. This doesn't leave behind any conditioning ingredients. A lot of shampoos and conditioners do, which is totally okay. For example, I'll just, I'll just pick something else up that's in front of me. A lot of shampoos and conditioners that are catered towards curls, or if they're a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, or even back to Olaplex, they're a uh, damage control uh, shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo isn't just cleaning. A lot of the times they're also leaving behind a trail of ingredients that are gonna help your hair. This leaves you clean, stripped clean of everything, but is also very color friendly because it is a lower pH. It doesn't disturb your color. 
super great for fine hair. Also, if you have really fine hair and you struggle with some shampoos and conditioners, like you might be using a curl shampoo and find that it's weighing your hair down because it's leaving behind too much. You need a no residue shampoo and this one is fantastic for that. Um, while I'm here, I do need to talk about, okay, well, these are in front of me. I do really like these shampoo and conditioner. I've tried them throughout my journey. And you know, sometimes you try something once and you don't know if you love it, but then you try it again and then it works better for you. These are some that I have personally taken on vacation with me because they are very moisturizing. And that's what you'll find with a lot of curl shampoos and conditioners. I will tell you right now as a stylist, I don't really like shopping for shampoos and conditioners based on your hair type. Like while I am saying I like these, I don't prefer, like I don't reach for a shampoo conditioner for my hair type. What you really, really need to consider, like, oh, for curls, like this, these could be used for everybody. Um, and you know, just because you have curly hair doesn't mean that those are the only things that you can use. What you really, really need to look at, especially with shampoo, more than your lengths, is you need to consider what your scalp is like, right? Scalp care is the foundation of our hair. So before prepping our hair, you gotta prep your scalp. And one of my favorite scalp uh, shampoos is this bad boy. And a lot of these I've been talking about for years. I've been through several empties of this. This is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal Plus Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I don't know why I forgot to read for a second. Uh, this, the name, um, just saying the name, I've run out of time, so I can't say any more about that. Why are some product names so long? It's fine. This is fantastic. This is one of my favorite scrubs. If you'd like a good scrub, this is a scrub. And it just like, it gets, it gets in the spots. And it's black, it's gray, it's got charcoal, which charcoal is said to help absorb impurities. Also a very clarifying shampoo. Also something I don't reach for when my color is fresh. So see, there's, there's different products for different reasons you know this is something i would recommend using if you have a more oily scalp and um or even if you have a dry scalp but you have a lot of flakes because those exfoliating beads do help to kind of alleviate some of that um and i do find that this helps with itchiness it's just something that i personally have used very a very long time um, i find it very versatile and it's a very nice treatment shampoo and it leaves you with that cooling sensation if you really like that as well. Oh my God, I just looked at the screen. I have the live chat on the side of me. I wanna say thank you so much to Megan. Megan, I just saw your comments gonna make me cry. Thank you to you and Amanda for helping us feel more confident with our natural hair. I used to feel so self-conscious, but you both helped me so much with your recommendations and guidance. That's all I hope to do here. So thank you, thank you so much, Megan. That's really, really sweet and generous of you. Really appreciate any live chats, even just you being here, hanging out with me, engaging in the chat. I appreciate you. Where was I? Who do not get, I said, don't make me cry. Okay. I said, this is a very important special day and my makeup looks pretty. So let's try not to ruin that, please. Um, we've talked about shampoos and Amanda told me I have 10 minutes with each category. So that's, I mean, I don't know where I'm at, but uh, let me know if you have a question here. I, do you use your fingers to massage it on your scalp or a tool? That's a very great question. Personally, I do love the feeling of scalp massagers, but I do know, I, I know how to use my fingers. I know not everyone has the dexterity or they might not, be, you know, they, they might not be as good with their hands and that's okay. That's not a diss to you. When I specifically broke my wrist, if you remember that, uh, I was definitely using a lot of scalp massagers, but I actually really like the feeling of my fingertips to really massage. So whether you're using a exfoliating shampoo or any shampoo, you should always really, really massage your scalp and also double cleanse. Okay. I do talk more about this as well. Um, 
in other videos. I have a full shampoo video and I want to kind of finish off this category with another shampoo that is more just just the basic. Like you don't have extremely damaged hair. You don't really need like maybe you already have a clarifying shampoo, but you need something that's more daily. If you have really fine hair and or hair that tends to get oily or you just like washing more regularly, like every two days or so, and you need something lightweight, something that's not gonna be too harsh. Some of my favorites are also these bad boys from Verb. This is the Verb Ghost Collection, extremely lightweight. Okay, this is this is fine hair friendly really all hair friendly i find it very versatile but especially if you have fine hair the ghost collection is excellent it's it's just it's excellent and very cleansing and also the conditioner itself very curly hair friendly on the slip department it's amazing for detangling these are fantastic options and these are also some of the more affordable these are more affordable and especially if you're shopping during the sephora sale it's a good deal and these are pretty big bottles too 12 fluid ounces listen we've been long time verb users and those are great products the and if, if you use any of these shampoos and conditioners i'm gonna say that you're set not because i recommended it but because i know that if you use them up accordingly you know, you use a clarifying shampoo when you are experiencing buildup or you're using a more gentle shampoo if you're shampooing more regularly. You know, if you're shampooing multiple times a week, <laughs> you don't need to use a clarifying shampoo every time. I'm all about alternating and all about balancing your whole routine, right? And working very intuitively with what your hair is telling you. If you're not good with communicating with your hair, then what are you doing here? I mean, you're here because you're here to listen to me. Um, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to your curls. I'm telling you now, I already mentioned, if you're experiencing a lot of buildup, you know what to do. If you're washing your hair very often, you know what to do. Now let's talk about what to do if you are ready to start styling, okay? After shampoo and conditioner, you get out of the shower. Perhaps we will touch on treatments very briefly because again, we are talking about the order in which we apply our products here. And there is one product that you might apply after the shower that you put on before any stylers, but including conditioner. And this is one of my greatest recommendations. If you have damaged hair of any type, the K18 molecular, leave-in molecular hair mask is, it's a goaded product. Mine has product all over it. This bottle is extremely filthy, um, but I use her extremely regularly and it's one of the best products for hair repair on the market by far it's so expensive but it's so worth it because a little bit does go a long way and uh, again these are great time to pick these up during the sale but this specifically I mean I've talked a lot about how you use it you definitely want to use it on clean I like to use it on clarified hair so I'll use a clarifying shampoo skip a conditioner and go in with K18. This is something that has to go on before any of your other styling products so it can really penetrate into your strands and repair your hair at the molecular level. It's the whole point of it. So that would have to go on before anything else I talk about. Another product that goes on before any other stylers is this bad boy, a very popular one let me know if you have used this before it's the color wow this one specifically is the dream coat for curly hair um there's also the original color wow dream coat which is an extremely extremely popular product for humidity and i'm sure we're going to start seeing a lot of people talking about it now as we are moving into the spring summer months here in the northern hemisphere shout out to everyone in the lower hemisphere i saw some people on from uh, australia which isn't it your bedtime or should you, you should still be sleeping. I think I fear anyways, I'm glad you're here. Um, the color Wild dream coat is definitely a product that you have to use a lot of, you do have to be extremely generous with it, but it does work when you use it very generously and really coat your strands evenly. It creates buildup in the best way. It, it, it works best if it goes on clean hair so you don't have anything under it. 
so it can truly create its coating properly over your strands. So I don't love it if you have extremely dry hair because it's not really a moisturizing product. What this product will do is help to create a barrier over your hair, almost as if um, you had low porosity hair or you had an intact cuticle that kept humidity out and worked really well at that. Unfortunately, if you naturally have curly hair, which I think is 99.9% .9 of everybody in this stream, then you probably don't use, um, you probably have naturally high porosity hair. I lost my train of thought for a second. You have naturally high porosity hair. And if you have high porosity hair, which again, we naturally all do, at least medium, um, then your hair is definitely going to react poorly in humidity. And that's when you need to use or you might like to use things like the Color Out Dream Coat or other primers in general. We are going to move on to other the the last the last subcategory within our prep product category. I did mention that there was a lot of different types of products, and I hope that so far you are finding this helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you are so far. Um, I've got lots of leave-in conditioners here, and then I think. God, there's, with all the products in front of me, I think I'm going to have to do a giveaway, like, very soon. So, uh, let's begin with, now that we've uh, shampooed, conditioned, and or applied a treatment or your first product, um, it's time to evaluate how dry your hair may feel. We don't always need to use a leave-in conditioner. Let me say it louder for the people in the back. And I know that might sound a little contradictory. A lot of the times we think, oh my God, curly hair. It can be very dry, yes, it can, but we also over moisturize it a lot of the time. And so you don't always have to use a lot of leave-in conditioners, especially if you're struggling with your styling and not getting longevity out of your style. Because hair that is very moisturized, I'm not gonna say overly moisturized, but hair that is very moisturized won't hold as well. You might not get as strong of a cast. You might not get the longevity. Your hair may not last, right? So I've got some very light options that I will mention. And then if you are someone who needs a heavier leave-in conditioner, I have that for you too. Let's bring it back. This is one of my, I've been using this for years. It's the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Heat slash UV Protective Primer. Heat slash UV protective primer. This is the time, kids. This is the time that we stock our carts with UV protectant products. This is such a nice leave-in conditioner. Also one that I like to reapply on my hair. I restyle with my hair throughout the week if it starts feeling dry. Again, in the summertime. It's so important to protect our hair from the damaging effects of the sun. Even though sometimes it might lighten our hair and you know, bring you just a little bit blonder if that's something that you love. It also affects our color in the wrong way, makes our hair extremely brassy, not long lasting and dull looking. So not something that we exactly want. What we do want to do is protect our hair. This is a spray, which is really nice and it works really well on all hair types. It is very moisturizing. I will say use it very sparingly if you have fine hair but um, it's super, super conditioning and extremely protective. Again, I love that it has so many different benefits in it. This is an OG. If you know, you know. More color protecting, and this is a lighter product. I do love the Olaplex number nine. I have both the Olaplex number nine and the Olaplex number six. And I'll quickly give you a breakdown on the differences because these are both like primer prep products, but they work very differently. For example, the Olaplex number no. nine is like a water serum. It's extremely lightweight. It's silicone free. I, I believe I remember that properly. It does give heat protection up to 450 degrees. And this specifically is an antioxidant hair product. Oxidants on the hair, oxidizers on the hair, are what create damage. Oxidative stress on the hair creates a lot of breakage. Damage can, you know, create grays, you know, gray faster. So a lot of, like, oxidative stress on the hair is no bueno. 
This is an antioxidant. This creates antioxidants, and it also helps protect your hair from pollution outside. Also, I believe, I want to say, it's also a UV protectant, pollution protectant, style memory, detangling, super shine, super lightweight, because it is super watery. So I actually love this. I think starting your hair, starting your routine with this is a fantastic product. And as I mentioned, if you're going to be using some of these really expensive some brands, really expensive I like brands. leaving them in. Like I do love the, the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, not because of their hair benefits, because unfortunately you're rinsing them off. So it's like how... You know, how much can they really help you if they're only on your hair for such a short period of time? If you're looking for maximum benefits for hair repair and also more protection, I like leaving these products in. And these are some of my favorite Olaplex leave-in products. So there's the number nine. Then there's the number six, which has a very special place in my heart. This is a more thicker, it's a thicker cream. Also, what's really cool about this is it can be applied on wet, damp, or dry hair so this can also be reapplied like if let's say you've done a blowout on your hair or your dry hair is even dry curls are feeling a little bit crispy this is a great product that you can kind of reapply over top just to add a little extra conditioning so this is that it also has heat protection um, I don't think as strong as this like this I would definitely want to reach for if you had if you're using heat on your hair and I'm talking when I say using heat I don't mean diffusing diffusing is like light work when we're using heat I mean actually blowing out the hair using hot tools because that heat is much more in that heat is much more direct and that's when you're going to want to use products that are specifically they say we are heat protecting okay this is more of like it helps really well with frizz it has frizz protection up to 72 hours and it's just very conditioning like i mentioned works very well both of these are a gem i would use both of them together as well i would always go light and you'll you'll see i'm going to mention as we get into stylers especially there are benefits to using more water-based products before your heavier, creamier, oilier products. And you want to use them strategically based on the results that you want. But when you're using treatments before styling, I would definitely use uh, more water and then you could lock it in with something more moisturizing. Very similar to how we apply our skincare products. But that on that note, again, Leave-in conditioner, a cream, isn't necessarily for everybody. If you have that really fine hair or you have really soft and already silky hair that doesn't hold its style well, you might be able to skip these types of products. Skipping a leave-in conditioner that is really creamy and moisturizing because you're not doing yourself any favors. You're making your life a little bit harder. So this is your, this is your sign to maybe skip a leave-in conditioner because prep isn't just about leave-in conditioner it's about your shampoo and conditioner and so if you're shampooing and conditioning really well you might be able like your hair might be conditioned enough that you don't need to leave one in you might be able to skip right into the next category but i will give just a couple more recs that aren't olaplex um i also really love another uv protectant one is the verb curl um this is their curl leave-in conditioner very detangling it's protective it gives great curl memory as well because it does have proteins in it and curly hair especially if you have fine hair as well really loves protein if you're struggling with creating your your natural curl shape or your curls don't have a lot of when i say memory i mean can you look i'm look i'm gonna show you something can you brush through a section and do the curls spring back up? Like, do they find themselves again? If they don't, then your hair might be compromised. And that's when I would definitely want to incorporate some more proteins into your routine. Proteins are wonderful. And I have more product recs with proteins as well. But that's a great sign. If you are experiencing good curl memory, your hair is probably very healthy and you might not need as much protein. But in general, I've always noticed that the curls are happiest, especially on compromised hair that has been colored. 
curls are happiest when they are fortified and replenished with proteins. So I'm a big fan of reading the back of the bottle. And if you see hydrolyzed proteins, you're in a good place. You are in a good place. And I have something that is very itchy on my face. Um, one more heavier option. I want to give a very special mention to this bad boy. Not just for what's inside, but also the size. This is Pattern Beauty. This is Tracy Ellis Ross's brand, who I... Big fan, big fan. But I am a big fan of the product, aside from, you know, who's created it. She knows curls, okay? She's, this is a big bottle. This is great if you need a lot of moisture, right? This is definitely on the heavier side with for leave-in conditioner. This one specifically is their Palo Santo leave-in conditioner. So it just has like a more kind of like musky, woodsy, earthy scent to it. But they have another, their other leave-in conditioner has a different scent. Um, and it's, it's great for curly hair. And if you have coilier hair, if you have like really tight textures, this is a very conditioning leave-in conditioner. And again, it's great for detangling. It'll set you up for success. If you find your hair tends to get very dry and brittle, this is something that is very moisturizing. So great to leave in. Maybe great if you know you're going to be spending a day at the beach, by the pool. You definitely want something a little bit heavier in times like these. We made it, kids. We made it to the summertime. We also made it to the end of our prep category. And I think it's time... I think it's time for a little giving away. Again, we are celebrating six years of creating content on this channel today, April 10th. Okay, mark your calendars. Now you know. This is a very special day in Maze by Mel YouTube history. And I want to gift at least three of you throughout this live. We're going to choose one winner right now. I just want you to live in the live chat comment six years. Six years and because you're subscribed here, I hope you're also subscribed to our newsletter. Make sure you're commenting six years right now. We're going to select the winner now. Um, if you're already subscribed to our newsletter on our website, mainsbymel.com, then you are already, we already have your email. So we'll be able to send you an email and make sure that, you know, you get your giveaway after this live stream. So Anthony's seeing your names on the sides. He's going to pick a winner very randomly. And we are going to get into the next category, which is styling. Finally, you're thinking, is she done? But like I said, prep is the most important, okay? We have to prep so that our hair is prepared for the rest of our routine. When it comes to the style category, there's a lot. I'm not going to lie. There is a lot of different types of stylers. And you may find when you're shopping that you, a lot of websites have shop by concern. I like to think about what your end result is. I like to address hair concerns in the prep, but actually think about what results you want with the style portion because your styling products is where you're going to shape your hair into the end result that you want. We're going to let them comment. We're going to let you guys comment. I'll find them. If you guys are subscribed to the newsletter, I'll find you. And yes. We'll pick a winner from all the people that comment. We'll be picking so a winner from people thanks that... Thanks for commenting. Now. Yes. Thank you guys for commenting six years. We see you. We're going to be picking one winner now. One winner in a little bit and another winner at the end. So stay tuned. As I was saying, um, with your styling products, you definitely want to think about the results that you want. So let's, let's, get, let's go through some case studies, shall we? If you're someone that absolutely hates hair that looks crunchy, you're more of a volume gal, um, maybe you wash your hair often, so you don't care for longevity. You just want your hair to be soft, fluffy, voluminous and you know hopefully look good like you there's a few products that you can use that'll really minimize things in your routine and that would be a curl cream a curl cream is like the best of all worlds this is not just it's different from a leave-in conditioner a curl cream has conditioning benefits 
while also being able to provide some curl memory as well as hold. The type of hold you're gonna get from a curl cream is gonna be on the softer side. They're softening products, right? But they will help to define your curls. They will help to give you some shine and be really soft in the hair. So some of my favorite recommendations, and these are available at Sephora. These are Curlsmith that are only at Sephora.com and not in Canada, but I mean, Curlsmith products, you can get them multiple places and you know us, we've been using these for many, many years. One of them would be the Hold Me Softly Style Balm. This is a staple. This is truly a staple. My sister who has coarser hair and you, you know her, she has been using this for a very long time and really, really loves it for hair that is thicker. When I say coarse, I mean her strands are thick. These strands might, some they also feel coarse. Like you can actually feel them and they feel like they might feel a little bit rough. This is definitely a more heavier cream that can give you a lot of conditioning and is also great for providing that curl memory, but isn't necessarily repairing. So this isn't a product that's gonna give you a lot of protein. If you are someone that has more damaged hair and maybe more fine hair, I would recommend the Curlsmith Featherlight Protein Cream. Like I said, it's a protein cream. Protein will give you the curl memory that you want from like a gel, right? Like maybe you don't want to use a gel because you don't want your hair to be crunchy, but you do want your curls to hold well. Hair that is healthy will have that natural longevity to it. It will hold its shape well. And supplementing with protein will help you do that as well. So this is a great one. It's not as conditioning. It's more balanced. It's a little bit more of like a lotion. It's a little bit lighter. So also a great option if you have fine hair. This is one that, yeah, I also really, really reach for. On the other hand, if you are someone who also likes, again, just another option, the Moroccan Oil Curl Defining Cream. I don't specifically use this one a lot, but Amanda really likes it, and I know it works really, really well on really thick hair, really coarse hair. So these are curl creams that you might want to reach for if you want that curl longevity. Uh, sorry, if you want that curl softening. If you don't care too much for longevity, then I would use these. If you do, using too many products, okay, like I, like I said, I'm talking about a lot of products right now, but you don't have to use every single one. Using too many and applying too many at once is only going to result in buildup, really. And you might impede your other products from actually working. Like I said, if your hair is too conditioned, it's too moisturized, it's got a lot of conditioning agents, a little bit oily, and you try to put a gel on top of that, you might not get that crunchy cast that you're looking for for longevity because your hair is too soft. So sometimes skipping a curl cream, going from maybe using a leave-in conditioner and going straight into gel, or using a curl cream and then using a foam or mousse is going to be the best. I would personally recommend, and don't quote me on that because I'm sure I've used multiple, multiple products at once on this channel, but trying to stick to two styling products at once in one routine. That way you're letting their products do their thing and you're not overusing and over consuming. So we're being strategic here. We're using a curl cream when we want softening, but one of the most important products that you should use in your routine if you want that longevity is going to be a gel. I am a gel girl but I wasn't for a long time. I was also on the, I hate crunchy hair. And I'll tell you, your hair after using a gel doesn't have to stay crunchy, but using a gel is really important for that longevity while you are drying. So this is for my curl friends that love diffusing. If you're a diffuser user, I love you, okay? And if you're struggling with diffusing and you're thinking, I've, I've even tried Mel's tips, tricks, and techniques, and it's not working for me. Well, I'll just give you a sneak peek. Tomorrow's video is going to do, have to do a lot 
with troubleshooting, okay? So if you're having issues and you're doubting some techniques and you're ready to give up and drop out of YouTube University, stay tuned. We've got a lot more troubleshooting coming up and there, there might be reasons why diffusing isn't working for you or why your gels aren't working for you, as I mentioned, if your hair is too moisturized. But in the hand that you are using these properly, on hair that it has the right amount of wetness to it, right? Um, and you use these products, I have faith that you are going to get the results that you want. So let's break down gels. We are still in the style category. And you can apply, here, here's the thing, there's a lot of discourse on the internet. What do you apply first? I would always say cream, cream first, but then what is it? Gel and then mousse, or mousse and then gel. I would love to hear from you right in the chat or in the comment section, do you do mousse before gel or gel before mousse? I'm gonna break down when you might want to do which technique, because both work. Here's what I say. When you want a softer result, you wanna apply your heaviest products on your hair that is very wet because when you do so, the products are going to get more diluted and it's going to lighten up those products, right? A lot of the times, gels can be, not every time, but a lot of the times, gels can be more heavy, at least heavier than a foam. A foam or a mousse is really great for hold and volume, whereas a gel will really help with hold and definition. Can you use both? Absolutely. If you want to focus on hair that is more, has more volume, I would say I like using the gel first and then the foam afterwards. And I'm going to explain why. In order for foam to work really well and do its volumizing, I think you need to apply it as your last styling product so that it can really help to fluff up the hair while you are drying. If you apply your foam or your, and I'm talking about a styling foam before your gel, I feel like when you apply your gel over top of that, you're condensing and like weighing down all of the goodness that the, that the gel, that the foam could do in terms of volume. So if you're reaching for more, if volume is your, your goal, I would apply your gel first and I'll go through my, some of my Sephora suggestions in a moment. I would apply your gel first on your wet hair, scrunch some of that out, you know, scrunch out, maybe use a microfiber towel to absorb any excess product and water that's in your hair, and then finish off with a gel, uh, sorry, finish off with a mousse over top. That's if you want good volume and hold. If you care more for definition, well, you might not necessarily need a mousse, right? Again, let's try to limit how many products we're applying on our hair. Uh, but gel, the less products you put on beforehand, the more of a cast it will create. And some products you might use before your gel, uh, like some foams you might use if they are a volumizing foam, I would put it underneath for near your root area where you're not really applying a lot of gel. But otherwise, applying a mousse and then a gel over top is typically going to get, give you less definite give you less volume and more definition. I think I need a sip of my adrenal cocktail. I am almost lost it for a second there. Are we following? Are we gathering? Do we understand what I'm saying? There's a time and place. I love to hear what you are doing in your hair. There's really no right or wrong answer here, but if you are going to try out some of these techniques, these are some of my favorite things that I do love to use. So I'll start off with gels. If you're looking for that stronghold, okay, we're gonna go crunchy, something really, really strong. And maybe something, if you don't want it to be as crunchy, that you do apply on hair that is more dripping, a little bit more wet. Um, this one, this is one of my favorites. One very long hold, 
very works very well in humidity okay this is the curl smith curl defining styling souffle this one is great i also really like if you want a softer hold because it's also more conditioning this is their frizz rescue curl retainer i almost consider this like a a cream gel it's a gel but it's almost like a cream gel. actually they, look they don't even call it a gel this is what always gets me. They call this a retainer. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. They don't call it a gel. They don't call it a cream. It's a jelly. It's a jelly styler. That's what they call it. I would say it's very moisturizing and works, works very well in humidity as well. Curlsmith, they know curls. These ones work very, very well. I also do really enjoy... Um, if you're looking for something softer, so this isn't as crunchy, and it also does give really beautiful shine. I do like the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Control Gel. What I will say about this gel is you might find it feels weird upon when you apply. You know, sometimes gels can feel make your hair feel like seaweed. They might feel really drying. They're not always fun to brush through the hair. So I don't like to, I like to just gently praying hands this over my curls as you know, one of the more final steps in the routine to really create that gel cast, um, really lock in your style. This is great for that, but it, yeah, not to brush through necessarily because I find it leaves the hair feeling like seaweed only when you apply once the hair is dry it's totally fine and this is for that softer hold that isn't going to make your hair feel like there's a lot of product on it as well it won't feel super crunchy and you won't feel like you have build up either this is a very lightweight gel so also very nice and then one that's in between another um cream gel combo i want to say is this bad boy which i'm obsessed with the smell this is from Ajua beauty um it's their melon berry smoothing plus vitamin c gel so they say it's for fine hair but i would say that this is a little it it's heavy like it is very conditioning i i want to swatch these but i would make an absolute disaster um let me know if you want more details on any of these but this is very much again a cream gel it's quite moisturizing it's got vitamin c and antioxidants in it which again are going to be great especially as we're spending more time outside so it's protective for the hair as well uh it nourishes shines and defined curls without weighing them down i will say again apply sparingly but this besides that i do really really like i think a little bit goes a long way it's on the more medium hold, not very strong hold, not too soft, really, really nice. Another great option. And I think the packaging is really cute. It speaks to me. I like bold coloring. Um, and of course there's so many options, but those are, those are a few I wanted to mention in terms of gels at Sephora. And again, then there's like combos and you've probably if you've been around heard me speak about this bad boy before uh i'm gonna talk more about it tomorrow in tomorrow's video as well when we're talking about troubleshooting because this is a controversial product is it a foam is it a gel it's both it's the curl foaming gel with verb that i actually helped co-create and this is kind of like if your gel could foam so it's the best of both worlds. One of the reasons why I love using this product and I think it, I can recommend it to absolutely every curl type, I'll say it, maybe not, maybe in conjunction with other products, but it does work on all hair types. This gives great shine. It gives that curl memory that we were talking about. Like you can apply this to your hair and it helps give shape to the hair and hold because it's very nourishing. It's got amino acids, it, help, it helps to fortify the hair. It's got a whole oil. It helps give you that shine. It is a foam, so it's lightweight and airy and does help with volume as well, right? So it gives you volume, but it's also a gel. On the gel side, it's a soft medium hold. It doesn't give you the crunchiest, longest lasting results. Um, it does give long lasting results in terms of 
humidity defense, but in terms of it being like crunchy on the hair, if you do love crunchy hair, this would work best paired with something stronger. This bad boy right here, this with the curl smith is a good combo, but I do love using this, actually brushing it through the hair because it's super, super slippery. It's one of the few gel products that can be brushed through the hair. Um, this is, it's one of my favorite options. Actually, I'm not gonna talk too much about it anymore if you're watching this live because I believe that you guys did sell this out uh, on Sephora.com. I don't, I mean, I helped launch this two years ago. I don't reap any benefits from that now, but it still makes me so excited to see it do so well. And so many of you let me know that this has made such a difference in your routine and it's an absolute staple. It means a lot to me because it's, it's kind of my baby. So love that. Um, I think it's still available at Sephora Canada. I will still have it linked below, but if it's sold out, I'm sorry, but now you know it's because it's a staple and it's a very versatile product. One other foam, I have actually, I could mention one other one, I just don't have it in front of me. Uh, first we'll talk about, again, back to Curlsmith. This is their Bouncy Strength Volume Foam. This is their protein, it's called their Strength Recipe. This is going to add proteins to the hair. If you have fine hair, this is a product that I definitely recommend that you use. Works really well because fine hair is more prone to damage and naturally has less protein. Adding protein to it is going to give you the best curl results and longevity. So this is a great foam as well and very, very lightweight, very, very watery. I also want to mention, I don't have it here, the Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Foam. That's some the title is something like that. It's the extra large bombshell volume foam. That's another great volume product that can work not just in curly hair, but also if you're blow drying it into the hair. That works fantastic for volume as well. So now that we now we've only, we've basically gone through this whole category. Um no, not really. Of course, there's other products. There are also pomade products and powders, which is actually more of the finishing category, which we'll get into in a second. But the gist of it, especially when it comes to curly hair care, we've got our styling creams, our mousses and gels, sorry, our mousses and foams, and our gels. Those are our styling category. And you can mix and match whatever results you're kind of looking for. But I hope that so far that it's kind of clarified what results that you might want. Again, softer, go for creams. If you want stronger hold and definition, go for gels. If you want volume, you're going to want the foams and the mousses. And you can mix and match depending on, okay, I want definition, but I also need moisture, right? That's when you want to use your leave-in conditioner or cream with the gel and so on and so forth. I can also have these all broken down on in a blog on my website to clarify. But now that we have finished, oh my goodness, the style category, right now we're going to once again spam the live chat with six years, six years, six years, because we're celebrating six years, which means hundreds of videos like someone will ask me, oh, can you do a video on this? I'm like, honey, I've done it because we've been creating content for six years and we have so much content on this channel to the point where that's what I'm doing this live stream right now because, oh, by the way, we're, we're commenting for the giveaway. Of course, if you, six years, comment six years for another giveaway winner. I didn't even say that. Uh, but I'm the reason why I'm doing this video is because I actually did a video like it on the channel at the very beginning of our YouTube career, before I really, you know, established myself here and my, my, my personality and my cadence. And it's just, it's not it. It's, it's the hardest. It's one of the hardest videos for me to watch. It's still very helpful, but I thought let's do an update. Shall we? Especially since there, I, there's so many different products that we could be using, and that's why I'm really trying to keep this a very versatile and friendly for everybody. So 
Now that we have spammed the comment section with six years, we've got the tech team, which is my brother and my cease are both, I think you might see them in the live chats. They're going to be selecting another winner right now. And then we're gonna select a final winner at the end of this live stream once we finish talking about the finishing. I said prep is the most important, right? And it is, like you have to, if your hair is not ready to be styled, like the, honestly, the worst thing you can do, and this is coming from a professional, the worst thing you can do is style dirty hair. When I'm doing weddings, and, it, and you can talk to any stylist that styles, right? A lot of times with big events, you're going on set uh, or to location, and you're working on hair that is pre-washed, hopefully. I say that hopefully because either people aren't properly washing or they're they're not washing at all. And styling dirty hair is not going to give you the results that you want. Like I said, if there's buildup on the hair, the new products that you're trying to add on there aren't going to work. So yes, prep is very important. But if you're not finishing the hair, then you're not finished. It's just, it's undone here, you know? So finishing is one of my favorite steps of the styling routine. This is after we've applied our stylers to give shape to the hair and to set the hair, right? Especially when it comes to gels. Even creams, foams, like all of those are really setting products, fixative products that will help to lock that style in place. Now, once we dry the hair with the dryer, or maybe you're an air dryer. I'm not going to say anything about that. I didn't say anything, but right? So if you are air drying, whatever, okay, your hair is now dry. On dry hair, we finish, and there are a few things that we finish with here, okay? There are oils, powders, and sprays, hairspray, perhaps even pomades and, and things like that as well. That's, it's a big category. It's a big category, right? We will begin here with oil because this is the order I would apply. and. I will let you know right now, you can skip this. Yes, I said it. I am a big fan of hair oils. Hair oils, hair oils are one of the most important, can be one of the most important products that you use on your hair. They help prevent a lot of breakage. They help prevent a lot of split ends. Um, they make your hair shiny. They can make your hair grow longer. They prevent a lot of you know, excess moisture from humidity. So oils are our friends. But again, if you have that, if you have naturally like silky hair or hair that is really soft or hair that doesn't hold its style well, which maybe is because it's really soft and really silky and shiny naturally, you don't need to use these. You don't, you don't need a hair oil because maybe your hair is already doing the damn thing. But a hair oil at the end of your styling routine, once it's completely dry, not dried out, not dried out because we don't rely on oil to moisturize or to hydrate, right? We don't really put oils on dehydrated and brittle hair because that's not going to do anything there. But on hair that is freshly dried, post style, to finish it off, to add that extra shine, that's when we can add some oil if you like a soft if you want to add extra shine and a softer result so let's say the gel cap the gel that you had put on made your hair look really crispy and crunchy and you want it to soften up now your hair is dry these are my number one recommendations we're going to start with the lowest price which is also probably my favorite and my most used option here it's the verb ghost oil which also now comes in a jumbo size this used to be uh one ounce and now it's oh no it used to be a two ounce and now you get double the amount of product so you get a four ounce or 120 milliliter bottle so lots of product here this will last you a very long time and it can also be used elsewhere in your routine this can also be used on your damp hair i'm going to say this only if you want that really soft hair results okay i'm more of the oil at the end of your routine type of girl but if you're 
blow drying your hair. This could also be used before using heat. It's got heat protection. Excellent, excellent, silky feeling, extra lightweight product that I've talked about so much on this channel. I'm sure people, I can't see my laptop died. I can't see the live chat right now, but I know that the live chat is vouching for me and saying, yes, Mel, I've been using the ghost oil since you recommended it and it's worked so well for me. Tell me, am I psychic? Am I psychic? I know, I know. Um, and I have the live chat here now. Thank you so much. My laptop had died. So look, love the verb oil. I said what I said, love ghost oil. Ghost oil is great, thank you, Mel. I said what I said, I said what I said. But these are also great options if you're wanting to spend, you know, these are gonna be a little bit more bougie, a little bit more high end, uh, but these are repairing oils. I actually, okay, if we're gonna get really technical, because might as well, I'm already here. These oils, I would say, are more of like, they're, I would call them serums because it's not just oil. It's not just like, it's so different than just slapping coconut oil on your hair or putting jojoba oil, or it's not just a, a one or even blend of raw oil. It's a blend of many different products. The Verb Ghost Oil also has proteins in it. And so do these bad boys. These are all like repairing oils. So we got the Olaplex number no. seven oil, which has the Olaplex patented technology. It's got the bismuth propyl diglycol dimalate. That is one of my favorite words to say. Bismuth propyl diglycol dimalate. Bismuth propyl diglycol dimalate. Bismuth propyl. How many times can you say it? That's what you're getting with the Olaplex oil. It's a very lightweight oil. It doesn't leave that serumy feel that personally I want. Um, I think this is this is good if you like a more lightweight oil. And again, you're looking for heat protection because it also adds that. And you're looking just for something a little bit lighter. That's, that's a nice option. Again, a little bit more of a splurge, but get it when you can, get it when you can get it on sale. A level up that does give a little bit more of a coating. And I mean, this is coating in a good way. Okay, sometimes I like my hair to feel more built up because it's high porosity and otherwise it feels really dry. I really like, I'm shaking it because you have to shake it. This is the Virtue Healing Oil and it's got healing properties to it. It's got proteins in it, or not protein specifically. It has, they have a proprietary um, like healing complex that is repairing for the hair that is in this oil and it's really, really nice. So I do love that. You're getting a little bit more products here, but again, it's more pricey. I think it is worth investing in a good hair oil that you're going to use um, that's, again, not going to weigh your hair down and it's going to give you multiple benefits. That's what I like about these. It's not just for shine. You're also getting repairing as well. So there's that. And then there's also, if you're feeling really bougie, because it is really lightweight, the K18 Molecular Repair Hair Oil. I only use it when it's like right there and I need to use it or I'm using it on hair that does get weighed down easily because um, this is quite lightweight and a little bit also goes a long way. Really nice. This has the K18 patented molecule. And so all of these, you know, you're getting hair benefits as well as hair oiling benefits and softening and shine. And it, either way, if you use something like this to finish your routine, you're just gonna get like that luxurious, why did I say it like that? that luxurious, expensive looking hair. And like, who doesn't want that? I personally do, but maybe you'd like your hair to be a little bit more powdery. I say, I say it like soft. Sometimes maybe you have naturally very oily hair and your hair is like super shiny. You're not worried about getting more shine, but you struggle with like too much shine up in the roots. I'm gonna reach over to get these last, these final products I'm talking about. You can also, this is a little pro tip, okay? You can also apply, volume hack, um, apply some dry shampoo in your roots, yes, on clean hair, because it'll help absorb any oils as they're excreting from your scalp, right? 
before the sebum creates a problem, oh, my light died. Well, there's that. Before the sebum creates a problem, using your dry shampoo on your clean hair, just a little bit in the roots, is going to fluff up your roots, give you some extra volume, and again, prevent the hair from getting oily. And this is one of my like favorite dry shampoos. I know there's some new ones that have come out and I haven't tried them, but I actually want to pick them up during the sale. Um, I will definitely have to do some investing in those. But right now, the Perfect Hair Day, this is the Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. This is my preference, really. Um, the, from the Living Proof, they have two different formulas. But this is really great because it doesn't leave a residue. It doesn't leave that like white cast on the hair. So it's great even if you have dark hair. That's a great way to finish your hair for volume. Or if you don't need dry shampoo, but you do want texturizing, this is also from Living Proof and one of my most used products. It's the Full Dry Volume and Texture Spray. If you are applying, this is a warning, if you are applying a texture spray, you can expect your hair to feel textured, right? It might feel a little gritty. It might feel producty. You're applying product, but sometimes that's what you need if your hair tends to fall out of its style, right? So this is another like mattifying product. It doesn't add a ton of shine, but it does give a ton of grit and texture and hold. And I used this two days ago and now I'm like, okay, I feel like I need to wash my hair because it's not as moisturized and dry. The Lord said, let there be light. We're trying to get the light back on. It definitely, like, it's not a moisturizing product, right? Again, these are, if your hair is really silky, if it doesn't hold well, you need more texture and hold, this is fantastic for that. It's the dry volume and texture spray, instant lasting volume and texture. That's correct. I, I would have to agree if you want something that is going to be more shiny and maybe you're like you're not really looking for volume and texture but you're more just looking for a little extra hold that maybe all you need is a hairspray and this is going to the classics this is the um moroccan oil luminous hairspray so it's nice because it does add a little bit of that shine element um i would like to finish with this this is the strong one they also have a medium hold one this is a great way to finish your routine as well. And you can use hairspray with an oil. I, because we're talking about the order here, right? I actually like applying my hair oil before. So this is what I've done now, right? We've applied all of our stylers. We've dried, dry the hair. The hair is completely dry. I now like to fluff it out and maybe you need to do some separating because you know when the hair can be a little bit too clumpy and chunky? Um, and you want the curls to be a little bit more dispersed, you need some separating. I like to use an oil on my hands for that. And then once I have separated all the hair and created the shape, the silhouette that I want, now you finish with a hairspray. And the hairspray is gonna help to lock in that style. And it'll also not be able to dry your hair out as much because you've protected it with a hair oil. A lot of the products that you may have already applied, like a leave-in conditioner or maybe a curl cream, like I mentioned, already have oils in them. So maybe you don't necessarily need a hair oil. But again, having enough adequate moisture in your hair before using hairspray will prevent it from feeling too dry. Um, but a hairspray, I feel like is something that died out in the curlier community like a lot of people don't really use hairspray but it's it can be your best friend really especially if maybe the styling routine didn't go as planned maybe you styled on really soaking wet hair and like all of the water just completely diluted your product you didn't get the hold that you want you can always add extra hold at the end of your routine with a hairspray and this is just one I, I like this is more that I think I Maybe I should try, I should pick up during the Sephora sale. I, man, and I put in a brutal, disgustingly expensive order with a lot of restocks and some new things that I wanted to try. I'm sure I'll do another one. Um, but for now, I think I've, I've spent, I've talked, I've recommended a lot. And I fear that I, 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 I gotta go here. We have got another video that is going to be posted tomorrow. 
Again, this is a very special week. I wanted to feed you with a lot of extra content and tell you how thankful I am for you for spending all this time with me on live stream and for supporting this channel for six years. It has been an incredible journey. My life will never be the same. I'm not going to cry, but um, it's, it's a joy every week to be able to create content that helps you gain confidence in your curly hair routine. I am all for all types of styling, okay? I love a good blowout. I, I currently have a bit of a blowout itch. I kind of just want to be able to brush my hair every day, but I digress. You know, I, I get it. I know we love switching up our hair, um, and I, I understand that sometimes we might feel more confident be in other styles that maybe aren't our natural hair because maybe it's different and maybe it's just how we're used to seeing ourselves if you're not used to wearing your curls. But your curls are literally so beautiful. Like, I just, you, I need to just let you know that. I need to tell you that as a friendly reminder. Your natural curly hair is so beautiful. It's so stunning. Especially when you, you know how to style it. And I, I hope that this video, I genuinely hope that breaking down the styling categories from prep, style, finish, breaking down the order and how to apply these things has truly helped you understand, oh, okay, yeah, I mean, those are the results that I want, so maybe that's how I need to apply, right? There are endless styling uh, potential opportunities, and I hope that you feel empowered to maybe experiment a little bit with your style and, and have fun with your curly hair again. I've got a really fun video planned tomorrow, and to close off this live stream, I, I got to have you comment six years. One more time. Give us a comment. Six years. Six years. Um, and we're going to select our final giveaway winner. That's three giveaway winners in this live stream. And I've got more coming tomorrow. Honestly, I just feel like it's spring. I got to do some cleaning. We have so we have such, an, obviously, an abundance of products. And so I want to make sure that I gift some of you, maybe hopefully with a fresh new routine for the summer. Because when the se seasons do change, it's a great time to kind of reevaluate what you're using in your routine, right? As the seasons change, your products might need to change. Or maybe you've changed your hair. Maybe you've had a big haircut or a fun color change for the summer. What are you feeling inspired by? Do let me know. Um, I definitely want to help create some more summer, spring friendly videos uh, on the channel. So hopefully you guys will see a lot of that. Oh my God, I just saw from MCAT. You're so sweet. Thank you for all the information and encouragement. I really appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much. And for everyone for supporting this channel. Um, it, it's been it's been a dream. It's been a journey. I see all your comments. Six years, guys. It's been six years. Like what? We you literally watched me grow up. I was a baby in the first video. And the first video, if you watch it back, oh, it's a bit of a crin. It's a bit cringy, but it is really fun. Bean, I love that. I love your photo. Thank you so much, Bean. I really appreciate the super chat. It means a lot. I really appreciate all your support on this channel. What else can I say? Nothing, Mel. Stop yapping. Okay, we've hung out, we've talked, we've shopped. I will, again, have all the links to the products that I've talked about and that I recommend in the comment section below. And I also have more additional content and information on my blog if you like reading things, depending on your hair texture. Um, I have a lot more tips over there. And that's also where you sign up for our newsletter. If you haven't signed up for our weekly newsletter and also into our monthly giveaway, make sure you do that. And that way we're able to contact you via email as well. So head over to mainsbymel.com, join our newsletter, and I look forward to chatting with you soon. Thank you so much for streaming with me. I think, I think we're done here. Cheers. I should have had a cake. I should have had a cake and candle. On, on live stream with me, but it's okay. We're, um, I'll have cake tonight, maybe. <laughs> wow, we're oldies. I was a baby when we started this channel. I was a child. And now I kind of feel old, but, um, we're old together, right? Anyways, that's all for now. Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me.